me. I'm really glad uh, to be here, and I'm the first uh, speaker in the course of our discussion. I'm neither a journalist nor a politician nor a sociologist. I'm outside of uh, the media milieus, but I believe myself to be an observer, an observer um, from the perspective of the two countries, which provides me the possibility to compare the situation in both countries, namely Poland and Spain. And uh, I'm sorry to say there are specific differences, uh, even with regards um, to the main topics, Christianity, patriotism and political correctness. I know that we want to analyze what we have today, but I'd like to assume the uh, historical perspective briefly, because uh, it is not possible to understand today's Spain without looking back. Spain was occupied, occupied by the Roman Empire, the Visigoths, and in 711, it was uh, occupied uh, by Islamic State for eight uh, centuries. This is the thing that we need to remember about. That was quite a lengthy period. This started with the uh, conquista that lasted uh, for 15 years, and the whole peninsula was occupied by the Arabs and Islamic State. It took only uh, 15 years, uh, and it took as much as five centuries for Christians to regain Spain as it is truly Christian. This is something we must not forget. The word Madrid is of Arabic origin. Madrid. Though Visigoths initially started the occupation of the place, but the origin of Madrid date back to the 9th century, where it was the Arabic troops uh, center. It was exclusively designed uh, to lead the uh, process. Reconquista is the word that describes uh, Christians regaining power over Spain. It was of uh, military purpose, first and foremost. Islam was not that negative in Spain, we need to remember. Spain is as it is. It is the result of Islamic influences. This produced uh, very important questions associated with medicine, arts and technology, which was not present back then in Europe. I'm at a loss at a bit, I'm sorry. Flamenco. This is an Arabic kind of uh, culture, that's the truth, and so this is where we find its origins. So let's return to the latest history of Spain. Dictatorship, uh, left-wing dictatorship in Poland. Well, this was the church that was associated with patriotism and Christianity. It was the driving force to democratize Poland, but we need to remember that it was the right-wing dictatorship in Spain of General Franco. It was quite a similar period. Its end was in 1975, but that was quite a similar period of time. And Christians were persecuted in this recent history of Spain. The Second Republic before Franco saw mass murders, which uh, can be compared uh, to cutting. It was Madrid's uh, near place, Paraguayas. 2.5 thousand people were killed without any... Quizia, how to say it in Polish? Without judgment, without appraisal. Well, so what kind of people were these? Uh, these were the right-wing uh, people and Christians. Similar to cutting, uh, these were the university lecturers, uh, sports people, lawyers, and the whole right-wing elite. And this list of uh, persecuted people includes priests. Uh, there are authors that uh, draw similarities 
between this one and Katynian Paraguayos. Spain. Franco's dictatorship was the opposite in Poland. It was the church that was in opposition in Poland. Christianity was a symbol of freedom. It's difficult to find a situation when the civil war finishes without dictatorship. If Franco won, so therefore he had to control the nation. So no other possible, no other situation is possible. The automated democracy. It was the mutual support between Franco and the church. Some people were associated with the left-wing movements um, also experienced the period of dictatorship. So this is the closest uh, historical reference of the two lands. Therefore, Christianity cannot be perceived exactly the same way in Poland and Spain. On the other hand, the notion of patriotism is pretty controversial in Spain. Um, understanding of the word is completely different compared to what we have in Poland. A person can be uh, patriotic, a patriot. Uh, uh, I was talking to Esperanza. I don't know whether we have this kind of notion in Polish because we've got nación and nacionalidad. The first one is the whole, and the latter one comprises the five smaller nations. They have their own cultures and languages, yet they are set apart. So what's the reason for this? In the period of Reconquista, where Christians were regaining Spain from the Arabs, it was the period marked with little kingdoms. And these different nations, uh, it had been in place for many centuries. These were kingdoms. Portugal was separated, and yet in Spain there are five nations described by the Second World. What is interesting for you is the location in the north of Spain and Valencia, quite aside with uh, smaller Arabic influence. Um, they had more problems with uh, reaching the place. And this is the origin of Reconquista. Uh, I don't know whether other people from Spain agree with me. This is Galicia, Catalonia, and Basque land. So returning to this uh, notion of a patriot, so this can be a person from Spain who believes themselves to be Spanish patriots and these nations are of a secondary importance. And we can have a, a patriot, uh, and there's no problem from a person, for a person who had read. Uh, and the person from Catalonia has this problem because they feel themselves uh, Spaniards and um, Catalonians. Uh, there can be two scenarios. They can either feel Catalonians, they are great patriots, of uh, the local place, they may believe uh, Spain as a bigger nation, but they can reject it uh, also. They feel themselves Catalonians, they are more associated with the local language. I'm just showing it. They prefer uh, using English rather than Spanish, and this person is a patriot too. So, uh, we must be careful when speaking about Spanish patriotism and terminology, because this is quite controversial. Even the national anthem is devoid of words. This is just a piece of music, and uh, Spaniards are most strongly brought together when they win a very important football match. But then, what follows is a kind of separation period. Facha person is a negative notion. A fascist who feels themselves to be patriots. They feel themselves to be patriots of the whole Spain, not the Basque country or Catalonia. And they are also Christians at the same time. Quite contrary to what we have in Poland, because such people are not regarded tolerant. This is what we were discussing yesterday. Facha cannot be an atheist. 
This notion has been reserved uh, for uh, right hand, right wing people. This is not ultra wing. This is something different. So we must be careful about the terminology. And what I'm expressing now is my personal view. What brings us together is the question of this uh, correctness, censorship, the right choice of words, political correctness. The greatest problems that we are facing, on the one hand, is the populism. We need to know that Podemos uh, party, the greatest left-wing party that we have here, and Madrid and uh, Barcelona mayor belong to Podemos. So this is the greatest problem of our country. Uh, not so much uh, immigration, because there is vast immigration, especially from Latin America countries. They are quite well integrated. They are called integration financiosa, quiet integration, quiet immigration, because they assimilate quite well. Of course, there are some people who do not assimilate at all, but Islamic is completely different. Um, when comparing uh, Spain and Poland, because in Spain they used to be there for eight centuries. This is something we must not forget. Uh, there are many relations between Spain and Islamic culture, something that is not on the front page of the news. Um, thank you very much.